coaches, it's that time again, another free resource for Modern Soccer Coach. This time, if you are planning your sessions for the new year or the new season on build up and trying to recreate and paint the pictures of tactical situations a little bit more specifically in the build, then we have the resource for you here. We're going to show you three build up exercises with a tactical focus and a tactical organization set up with really flexible ideas will allow you to adapt to your principles and the style of game you want to play with your team. If you enjoy these exercises, we are releasing a new PDF build up exercises, all free, available on the link below on the Modern Soccer Coach website. It's also got some session objectives. So if you want to really look at your game model and you want to look at some priorities or some principles tactically and you want to adapt those or look at new ideas, we've got those in there as well. You can download them for free. They're on the link below and also at modernsoccercoach.com. Thank you so much for the support. Three tactical build-up ideas. Here we go. Okay, our first game is a 7v4 central build-up game. So inside the area, you've got 11 players, 7v4, the possession team in red of four central players organized, two center backs and two central midfielders. And you've got those two wide players attacking full backs per se, who they play on the outside and they can move up and down, limited to touch. They can keep the speed of the play going, but defensive players cannot move into those wide channels. 7v4 playing against the central blue players. The objective is for the red team to progress the ball using 7v4 numerical advantage to build up and then score in either of the mini goals at the top to recreate possessing and progressing the ball into those higher spaces. If the defending team win the ball in blue, they can attack the red central goal immediately and look to score in the transition. Our next game is another central game designed to beat high pressure. A little bit more of a specific situation here with the goalkeeper just on the edge of the box. Two five-yard end zones on either side. 14 players used in total. The possession team in red are set up with a back four. One holding midfielder and two attacking midfielders. The defensive team are set up with five pressing players and then one defensive midfielder in that final channel. The objective is for the possession team, the red team, to transfer the ball from the goalkeeper into either the 8 or the 10 in that final zone and then looking for them to use their 2v1 advantage immediately and score in any of the three mini goals. Again, the defensive team wins the ball. They're looking to score in the other mini goals immediately. The goalkeeper is involved, of course, in the build-up in a big way, but the goalkeeper is also involved in transition here. With three mini goals, the goalkeeper's got to make decisions on where to go and how to prevent any goals on the counter-attack. Before we check out our third exercise, don't forget we've got these in a PDF along with session objectives to download for free on the link below, modernsoccercoach.com. Okay, number three, fantastic tactical exercise from Eric Ten Hag. 9v5 build and then unbalanced game. This takes place in an area with four mini goals in the corners. You've got 14 players, a possession team of nine, a defensive team of five. The possession team are looking to circulate the ball in red and transfer it to one half to the other to score up from the number four who's a center back into the number nine he's get one point from working the ball from one side to the other the defensive team in blue again are looking to apply pressure all the time and if they win the ball they can score in any of the many goals for two points plus if the defensive team do win possession the possession team can transition and counter press and try to win that ball immediately back after losing it. Aspect of the game as well. For every successful transfer, a red team are awarded one point. If the blue score in transition is two point, it should be intense, it should be quick moving and it should also be competitive. So there you have it coaches, just some ideas as you look to build your session and your game model. That build up is always, always, always a big priority for possession based teams and coaches that are looking to be progressive in their builds. So looking to create situations that again reflect your game model and reflect the style of play you're looking to play, plus making it as realistic as you can to the game. Putting these sessions together, what I noticed when I look and study and research build-up exercises is almost the more the merrier in terms of creating different pictures. The top teams today, the cities of the world, the Brightons of the world who are unbelievable in the build, they can do it 10 different ways against different opponents. So I think when you're looking at creating a build-up situation or build-up session today, 
I think creating a number of variations of sessions is a massive skill for a coach. So not relying on one session to coach build up or one exercise. It's looking at a session to match a certain picture, another exercise to match a certain scenario. And as you start to do that, you can become more specific in your coaching, more deliberate in your plan, and, and then hopefully more accurate in what you're presenting to the players, which will replicate the demands of the game and allow you hopefully to strengthen that connection between the match and training and that's always the goal in these exercises not to be elaborate as possible or to overload the players with 20 different things to think about it's to strengthen the connection between the game and the exercise so that the players can get a really really good grasp of transfer and then you can increase the likelihood of success by working on something and bring it to the match on the Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, please don't forget, check out the download, free download. You've also put in some objectives and some information around there as well. Free download available on the link below and on modernsoccercoach.com. So when you're there, please check out the other resources if you haven't already. Could not do it without your support. Thank you so much for supporting modernsoccercoach.com. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Thank you